This is gonna be the best video for beginners because over the next eight minutes, you're gonna learn how to make smooth zooms shake edit. I'm gonna show you two trending, easy to make cap cut zoom shake transitions. And as a beginner, if you make these shakes with trending audio, there's 99% chances that you edit go viral. So before your friend calls your edits mid, Bruh. let's check out the first shake. Now the second shake, which is halftone shake. Before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe because there's much more to come. First thing first, align the clips with beats. I already showed you how to mark beats on this, this, and this video. After watching this video, you can check it out. For the smooth zoom in, follow my steps. Add two keyframes to the first and last frame of the clip. Now scale the last key around 100 point. After that, try to adjust character face to the center like this. Now always preview the clips after it's done. Now after that, go to graph section and use this graph. Do the same steps with all. Now here's the final review. Okay, after applying zooms to all clips, time to add our main sauce, which is shakes. Follow me up. Add this animation called swing to right. Now add this white overlay and adjust it like this. Now apply oblique blur like this. Add three keyframes like me and set each key's adjustment like this. Now search for Jitter Blur. Do the same process on this too. Apply the exact adjustment.
Now add shake effect. that, our first shake is done. Apply these exact steps to all clips. And here's the final edit. You can add some CCs to make it more professional. Now next is halftone zoom shake, follow me up. I already added zooms like i shown before. Now for the halftone shake. Go to animation and find Turbulence 2. Add this halftone overlay. You can find this on my Telegram channel, so do check. Follow my step. Go to Splice and make it Dodge. Now go to Adjustment Curve. Take up the vertical axis up and horizontal axis down like this. Now apply Shake Effect and add two keys. After this, add adjustment like this. Add two keys on it and turn the saturation value to zero on the first key. Again, add another adjustment layer and take up the vertical axis and take down the horizontal axis. Now apply ripple effect to all over the clips like this, and set the adjustment like me. It's almost done, you can add another effect called Tremor Strobe. And with that, our second shake is done. For all beginners, you have to try these shake to your next edit. Next video will be something banger explanation, so wait for it. Till then, peace.